Good day, Easing from the Philippines. Uh, today we have a review on Fantech XD7 Aria. So what's in the box? There are two covers, honeycomb and solid. Then we have here a user manual. So USB Type-C cable, uh, adapter, and then stickers from Fantech. Warranty card. Grip tapes are included. Extra PTFE mouse fit. First up is build quality. Removable box shell. Which are held together by magnets. There's no flexing or creaking. No rattling. Uh, feels sturdy and solid. Next is coating. In my opinion, almost the same coating on the Pulsar X2, which we recently reviewed here on the channel. So it is creepy enough not to put grips on it. Um, it's not as premium feeling as the XM1 or the GPX, which is, uh, for me, the standard in coating. Uh, great thing is grip tapes are included. So in my opinion, every mouse sh should come with grip tapes. Next is weight. So with the solid shell, it weighs around 64 grams. It's 61. The black colorway is lighter by 1 to 2 grams. So compared to the Orochi version 2, that weighs around uh, 68 to 70. If you use a AAA battery or 70 plus, if you are using AA battery. Uh, different batteries weigh differently. Next is mouse feet. So they used PTFE feet. In my opinion, it's a uh, good stock skates. Glides well, and also extra PTFE skates are also included. So battery life, uh, 300 mAh battery will last up to 40 hours. So expect higher battery life if you use Bluetooth. Uh, next is clicks and scroll. Lighter clicks compared to the Orochi. Uh, Aria uses scale GM 8.0 compared to Orochi scale GM 4.0. There's a little bit side play and I don't notice it in game. Good placement of the side buttons. Has some pre and post travel but does not affect in game and is easily spammable. So 12ms is the stock debounce time for the main clicks. So make sure to change it in our software. Uh, we'll tackle it later. They used Wano side buttons. For the scroll wheel, they use TTC Gold Encoder, so has some tactile bumps, but is light and smooth to use. So sound test. So sensor used by Fantech Aria is 3395. I'd would like to mention that the sensor of the Orochi V2 was a bit placed towards the front compared to the Aria which is placed at the center. Motion sync is enabled by default. Some users um, reported problems on tracking being a bit jittery. Connections are 2.4 GHz and Bluetooth for uh, productivity and battery life. There were no issues. During testing on connectivity, disconnection, or interference with other devices. Um, this is the Fantech Aria. Simple software. So first tab is key settings. Uh, you can bind your buttons depending on your preference and use case. So there is a setting here. As I have mentioned earlier that the default setting for Aria is 12ms for debounce. So make sure to put this one at lowest possible which is 0ms for best performance. 
So next is DPI settings. There is up to seven stages in which you can configure DPI settings. Next is LOD. You can change it from 1mm to 2mm. Then polling rate. Make sure that this one is 1000 Hz for best performance. Last tab is macro. So you can um, create your own macro for your games or your preference and use case. Next is shape talks. I would like to state first that mouse shape is subjective. So do take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. I am just uh, sharing my experience and my opinion. You can see here that the uh, Aria is basically a bigger Orochi V2. The Fantech Aria XD7 for me is the best egg-shaped mouse. It is basically a bigger and better Orochi V2. Uh, overall, Aria does almost everything better. Better sensor, clicks, lower weight, uh, battery, and the price. Overall, one of the best bang for the buck mouse. Um, price to performance ratio is just insane for the specs you are getting. Not as premium feeling as the XM1 or the Super Lite, but consider the price of 3,500 pesos here in the Philippines. The combination of inclusions like grip tapes, extra skates, extra shells, then with the specs, definitely main work if you like egg-shaped mouse. Great for claw grip if you are looking for a support at the center of your palm. So that's about it for our review of the Fantech Aria XD7. It is available here in the Philippines at Gozo Gaming Years. So thank you so much for the support. Hope to see you soon on our next videos. Thank you. If you like our videos, please do subscribe and hit the like button. It helps the channel a lot as we are almost nearing 1,000 subs.